Oh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome once again to Allure Day, the sports complex in Sukkot, Baranyake, as once again, Allure Day International Productions proudly presents a World Boxing Foundation showdown in commemoration of the 100-year birth anniversary of the late, great Lope Papa Sarial. Okay. Let's get it on now with our next fight. Let's introduce, first of all, the supervisor in charge at ringside, also the president of the World Boxing Foundation, Mick Croucher, assisting in the supervising duties, Virgilio Delos Reyes, timekeeper at the bell, J.C. de Guzman, and the physician, Dr. Nazar Cruz. Judges at ringside, Salvin Lagumbay, Ray Danseco, and Alex Vidal, and when the bell rings, your referee in charge, Mr. Bruce McTavish. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the fighters. First of all, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight, wearing the red trunks with black. He weighed in at 145 pounds. He has a fight record of nine wins, five losses, and two draws. And he hails from Bangdung. Indonesia. Would you please give a warm Philippine welcome for Ferry Wirawan. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner tonight wearing the purple trunks. He weighed in at 144 pounds. Fight record 30 wins, 21 losses, 3 draws, 20 wins by knockout. He hails from Bongabon, Nueva Ecija, Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Ray Pelonia. This fight is for the vacant World Boxing Foundation International Welterweight Championship. Here now with the instructions, referee Bruce McTavish. Man's an all-time touch glove. Okay, another 12-round championship match, ladies and gentlemen, for the vacant WBF International Welterweight title between Ray Pelonia of uh, the Philippines and Ferry Wirawan of Indonesia, Dennis Principe with Guido Henson and uh, Jun Sarial. And, well, it was see Ferry Wirawan, on record now, Nine and five with four knockouts scored and two draws. Meron na siyang nakalaban na Pilipino. Si Lito Gonzaga na tinalo niya by decision mm -hmm. last year in November. Mm -hmm. Yan si Ferry Wirawan. Okay, so uh, sa record niya, not much of a super itong si Ferry Wirawan. <laughs> hindi pa, hindi super Ferry. Uh, okay, so uh, kasama nga Jun. Ito nga pa rin basis natin, uh, mukhang uh, may knockout punch. Ito nga uh, map mapapanood natin dito, no? Ray Pelonia, the WBF number 10 welterweight contender, and itong si Ferry Wirawan, uh, who happens to be the number 9 uh, contender of the same division. Ito si Pelonia wants to make it a short night. He has scored five first round knockouts in a career. Malakas manuntok ito si Pelonia. Oo. Oh. Nakakatakot, titignan mo eh. A short and Chris Puncher, itong si uh, Ray Pelonia. Well, itong si uh, Wirawan. Easily the taller between the two fighters. Ang napapansin natin kay Wirawan, yung kanyang side to side, a little bit of a lateral movement, no? Oo. Oh. At maganda ang kanyang katawan. Uh, maganda, oh. maganda yung kilos, itong si uh, Wirawan. Well, no, lately, in it, I don't know if you have seen this, uh, the Bundu VA featherweight champion. He's one of the best Indonesian fighters. Si Chris oh, John. Chris John. Oh, yes. Tama. Wala pa niya pang talo yun. Wala pang talo. I saw his fight in Japan. Talagang uh, mahirap kalaban. And he went to challenge uh, our uh, Manny Pacquiao. Itong si uh, Indonesian Tin Man. Ang uh, tawag dyan kay uh, Chris John. Ano kaya? Kaya ni Manny si Chris John? Well, that's a the fight to see. Ah, gano'n eh? Oo. Oh. Very interesting. Oo. Oh. Meanwhile, ito, Philippines versus Indonesia, napapanood po natin. Si Pelonia was caught all over the world. At dating Philippine uh, lightweight champion ito. Dating uh, Philippine welterweight champion din. 
So he has held championships in different weights. So veteran fighter, you can see uh, Ray Pelonia. And alam nyo, ang problema natin dito sa division na to, Kinito, is that wala masyadong uh, boxer na makalaban na welterweight dito sa atin, you know? Pero masusubukan dito si Pelonia because ang kalaban niya dito is, uh, looks like he's got good foot speed. Mm -hmm. Maingat, he's a defensive fighter. Head and body movement, maganda. Oh. Yung si uh, Mirawa. Yung lang lang sa offense. <laughs> Yun nga lang. Yun Kasi yung sunto ka. Oh. I think he's intimidated by the uh, reputation oh. of uh, Ray Pelonia as a knockout puncher. And he has probably felt yung uh, power nito si uh, Ray Pelonia. As soon there. Oh, pero bumalik yun ang counter punch Ito si Wira Wan Ito si Wira Wan Ito si Wira Wan And I'm sure Wira Wan felt The sting of the blows of Ray Polonia Nung first time na yun And this championship match, ladies and gentlemen Is brought to you by PCSO Family Robbing Alcohol Lotus Garden Hotel and Lord of Boxing Gym Sa St. Rita, Coast to Coast, Forest Station, Rally Tours, Travel Agency at Emperador Brandy And this WBF showdown of course is in commemoration of the 100th birth anniversary of the late great Lope Papa Sarya Nakita natin sa slow motion replay that Wira Wan was able to sneak in a right straight He decided to face the Palonia but that was after Palonia hit him with a shot to the side of the body and to the head uh -huh. And mukhang meron itong si Mirwan. It's just that na-intimidate ka agad siya doon sa offense nitong si Ray Pelonia. Because makikita mo naman, sa kilo, sa galaw, you know, yung hand speed niya, foot, foot uh, work, itong si uh, Mirwan. Well, itong si Pelonia, parang bulldozer yan. Eh. Yep. Parang tanke yan. Parang Sherman tank inside the ring. So you need a good jab to fend him off. Um, ginagamit ni uh, Wirawan instead of a jab is side to side movement mm -hmm. kasi flattery ko si uh, Pelonia so you need movement to move away from his path kasi bulldozer yan eh one oh. single minded attack eh diretso lang eh mm -hmm. oh. okay. good straight there by Ray Pelonia the problem for uh, Wirawan is that kapag may bitaw siya ng uh, jab ang hindi agad sa agad one shot one shot one shot by Ray Pelonia Wala na, wala na. And I don't think makakatayo pa. I can see... That is the end of this fight. Ray Pelonia scoring a uh, quick second round knockout against a uh, badly outclassed Indonesia. Uh, oh. Sabi nga ni Kinito, most of the fights of uh, Ray Pelonia does not uh, go more than one round. <laughs> no, oh. Oh, oh. Medyo na nandilay lang ng isang round, ha? Oh. Ito si uh, Ray Pelonia. Plus one punch. So, alam naman natin, may power ito si Pelonia. Well, napansin natin itong uh, Indonesian, parang natakot eh. Yeah. Oh. Naunahan siya kagad. Naunahan din, o. Oh. Gumamit siya ng kunting side to side. Parang amateur style yung ginagamit ito ng uh, Indonesia. Ito, slow mo action. Ito po, makikita natin dito yung uh, punch. Yun! Na the box, uh, ano? Sa mukha eh. Sa noo mismo. Oo, oh. oh. sa pole sa mukha ng Indonesia na hindi na tumindig si attorney Edmond Moreno is inside the ring now to award the championship trophy hindi natin ang banggit kanina no, dun sa laban ni Mark Salis at Celso Tangod si dating PCSO chairman Fernando Carascoso Dr. June Carascoso was the one who awarded the trophy at the Magal na natin kaibigan yan si Dr. Carascoso It's nice to see him back in circulation in sports And it's nice to see him supporting it All ladies and gentlemen, referee Bruce McTavish Which is the count of 10 Your winner By way of knockout at the time of 53 seconds of the second round And the new WBF International Welterweight Champion Ray Pelonia There you have it ladies and gentlemen Ray Pelonia officially claiming the Great Pelonia International the 147 pound title Welterweight Division via a convincing second round knockout 23 seconds for the second round against Ferry Wirawan and we'll have more of that action sa pagkabalik ng WBF Showdown.